Good morning, everybody. For and I am, yes, day 172. I'm running late. I, I just literally got off of work, so I'm about to put my stuff on and go and go to the gym. But I want to I want to share this with y'all real quick. This may be like a good three to five minutes. Bear with me here, right? So I had a usually I have like my um my therapy sessions on Thursday, which would have been which is today, uh, which is going to be it was supposed to be later on today, but we wound up doing it uh, yesterday or whatever because schedule changes or whatever the case may be. So I feel like with the therapy, what happens is that like a layer of me comes off. Like it just, it makes me feel like I, I start, I get a new perspective about myself, how I handle things, situations, all type of stuff like that. Right. Check it out. We about to get surgical with this. Right. I'm, I'm going to keep it on me. I'm not even going to say anybody else. I'll, I'll keep it on me. I have to stop operating or loving out of a place of fear right or staying in situations out of a place of fear like you could be with a person right and you ever notice that you if you see your anybody like it doesn't even have to be you if you notice other people right they'll stay in situations you be like why are they staying in situations out of fear not fear of the actual person but but fear of starting over fear of getting to know someone new you know fear of having to put in you put in all that work and now you don't want to lose it you know what i'm saying fear of 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 just of of losing the person like you you you're fearful of this and people will be loving out of fear is dangerous you know it strips you of you being your authentic self and i can say that because i'm talking from real live experience like i i can i can recall being in a situation out of loving a person out of fear and you know what you know what it is so crazy it's not even crazy it's just really real and I want you to hear me on this. And this is something that that I that I had to learn, right? Is that whatever you do not like about a person in the beginning, whatever it is that they do, you notice their personality, you notice certain things, you're like, mm -mm, I can't get jiggy with this. I don't like this at all. And you really don't like it. Like, you really don't like it. Like, that's something you cannot get jiggy with. You don't like it. Whatever you don't like in the beginning, you are going to grow to resent in the end. And now you're sitting there mad at them when you should be mad at you because you knew you didn't like it. You knew you didn't like that they were a liar. You knew you didn't like that they were a cheater. You knew you didn't like that they 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 could never admit they stuff. You knew this about them. You've seen it. You've seen all the signs and you decide, no, I'm going to make this work. I'm going to do this. I had to put this time in. I really love them. You're loving out of fear. You're loving out of fear. You do not have to love somebody out of fear. You do not have to stay in situations because you are fearful. Don't look at my hand. I'm getting it done. It's been a rough, it's been a rough night. Okay. It's been a rough night. Lord. 23 clients it's been a rough night and also i want i want to encourage people the way my therapist encouraged me tonight well yesterday is just to say this right <clears throat> you do not have to love out of fear you know don't be fearful of because you know what happens like people say oh well they'll, they'll stay in said situation right whatever the situation is you know it's not conducive for you you know you know that it, it's not conducive for you 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 know it's, it's just it's, it's just not for you at this juncture in your life that's just not for you maybe later or maybe before it was but now that it's not and that's okay people have a fear of starting over let me tell you about the the three good things about starting over one it is a breath of fresh air <sighs> two <clears throat> You're not starting from scratch. People think, people have a delusion in their head that they think that when you're starting over, you're starting from scratch. You're not starting from scratch. You're starting from a place of experience. So now you can spot the BS. Like, well, what? I knew that was coming. Well, what? See, you doing that. But see, the thing, the tricky thing about that is that you can see the BS coming, but what you going to do about it? That's when you got to decide whether you're going to repeat the same emotional cycles and love cycles that you've been in. Oh, we about to get surgical. The third one is this. <clears throat> is that. We'll have an amount like starting over. You think that, okay, it's going to be like how the last time was. Oh, I got to, I got to take all this time. People be like, you know, in their late twenties or the late thirties, like, oh, I don't, I don't want to get to know somebody again. I want kids. I want marriage. You got all this pressure on you. Pressure. Alleviate the pressure. You don't have to do, be on your own timeline. And I had to realize that I'm on Alexis timeline. I don't care about what the family got to say, what the friends got to say. I don't care. I'm on my own timeline. This is my life. I'm on my own timeline with things. I, this is this is me. I got to do things in my divine timing. You understand? So don't think because it took you three weeks, or I mean three weeks, it took you three years to, to learn how Shaniqua was 